Whoa, this village is insane. And this is definitely not your average villager. He trades you a food enchanter, but I only have one apple left. And what is this? A peanut butter and giant? Um, uh -huh. This is Minecraft, but there's custom enchantable food. This custom food does some really weird, but also really awesome things. Can we eat our way to victory? Stay until the end of the video to find out. And if you're beautiful, like the video, subscribe, and enjoy. All you have to do, put one piece of food in, and then you get the enchanted version of that, the karate. So we get speed, jump boost, and strength from literally just a carrot. Just guess in the comments what pigs drop. That's right, they drop bacon, ladies and gentlemen. When you enchant the bacon, you get something so magical. The one punch bacon. And if you watch anime, you know exactly what this is. You get knock back 20. You basically have a ridiculous amount of knockback, which is gonna come in handy when we're defeating mobs or trying to push them away from us. Regular pork chops, when enchanted, give you an incredible mining ability. You get haste five. I mean, come on, this is incredible. Just wait until we actually get some useful tools. We only need one apple. That's all we need. When you enchant the apple, you get the magnetic peel. So when you eat this bad boy, everything from chests nearby is just deposited into your inventory. I wouldn't say sweet berries are useful, and regular Minecraft, but they are today. When you enchant these, you get seek berries. We literally have every ore cluster known to mankind now visible to us. Yeah, okay, see, look at that. Boom, found it. It only lasts for 30 seconds, but still, this is incredible. I'm having so much fun with this. Also, I didn't get to do this, but the beet root also turns into the upbeat root. Generates a massive earthquake when you land. I'm pretty sure this also deals an incredible amount of damage. Colorful mutton. Shoot colorful wool and give them a lesson. <laughs> Okay, so enchanted steak is miss steak. Eat this steak and apparently your opponent's arrows will miss. That sounds fantastic. What about potatoes? Oh, we get a hot potato. We already know that enchanted carrots are amazing. In fact, I'm gonna enchant a few of these. Oh yes, all right, upgrades people, upgrades. Wait, are those diamonds too? Oh my gosh, is this a little bit overwhelming? Okay, we might be able to use this to find ancient debris in the nether. Also, what a juicy, like eight diamonds? I, I must be really lucky today because, no, oh, this is fake. Is this role play? What is that? How am I finding all these diamonds? <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh yes, all right, I'm, I'm big dumb. One of the best things that we get to make and enchant is a special golden apple that's gonna help us basically be the richest man alive. So we need to scoop up as much gold as we can find. Actually, if we can just get eight gold, we're gonna be set. Oh, come here, come here, Rother. Oh, yes. Okay, beautiful. Also, we didn't get to ever try this. I just wanna try this just to see what it does. The colorful mutton. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, it's like everywhere you left click, just colorful wool spawns. I mean, this would actually be really useful if I was good at defeating the Ender Dragon with bed. I'm not good at using beds to beat Minecraft. I'm just, I'm not. You can like make a little colorful rainbow park where I like it. All right, so I got my gold smelting. Oh, hold on, we found a skeleton. Okay, so we have the mistake, which is supposed to make it. <laughs> look at the skeleton. He trying to shoot, look at these arrows. Wait, so if this works on skeletons, does this work on blue? blazes in the nether because this is fantastic. I mean, I am like really close to the skeleton and he's still missing. Oh, we got our gold done. Time to put down the food enchanter again. Get our little crafting table out. So this is where things get really fun. So we are gonna make a golden carrot. We are also gonna make a golden apple. Now we get to enchant these in the food enchanter and we get a filthy rich apple. Some say Mr. Beast eats this fruit every day. Nobody knows. For whatever reason, the golden carrot doesn't want to be enchanted. It's glitched. I'll fix it. Because when we eat this, not only do we get the absorption hearts, but every block beneath us turns to gold blocks. So this is going to make getting into pearls from those pesky piglins very, very easy. I think this is going to be enough gold for the piglins. I don't know about you guys. I'm, 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 it's, it's good. All right, so I got good news and bad news. This is the food connoisseur. And if you trade, you can get some of the custom items that we've made for this video. But she keeps poisoning us. Can you stop it? I'm trying to make trades with you, woman. You're gonna kill me. All right, I would like to take a lot of donuts. Okay, I'm about to die. So I'm gonna walk out of here. All right, let's just calm down with those potions. Now, I don't know what the donut does. It's kind of sad. I'm taking a little bit more damage than I, I wanted to take. All right, anyways, you can enchant the donuts and you get the donut touch. Hostile mobs, donut get any closer. Now, I wonder if this works on our food connoisseur. Oh, look at this. It pushes the food connoisseur into the opposite direction, but she, she's stuck in the corner now, but she's still throwing potions on me. 
All right, okay, why don't you calm down? I'm literally about, I got half a heart, fine. Okay, <laughs> I got some apples. So we really need to get this. We need to make cheese and we got to trade her some iron ingots. If we give her some iron ingots, she's going to give us the flipping pancake. All right, thankfully there's some iron in here. Man, I, dude, I hate that food connoisseur. <laughs> All right, we gotta milk this cow because we're about to make some cheese. All right, so cheese is very, listen, this is this is weird, okay? Uh, this is how you make the cheese. You cook the milk in a furnace and you get cheese. Yeah, you lose the bucket though, which really not great, but at least we can use this to finally get the last set of trades from the kind of, oh, she needs three pieces of cheese. Goodness gracious. You might be wondering, what does the flipping pancake do? So you eat the flipping pancake and anything you left click turns upside down, even this cow that we got milk from. It even works in hostile mobs, which I think is is fantastic. Yeah, this is so fun. Wait. Oh, I want to flip you up. All right, before I flip you, give me the peanut butter. And now you are flipped. See, this is a good thing. See, when, when they're flipped, you can't trade with them anymore. But we got what we came for. We just wanted the peanut butter. I'm going to put you out of your misery. I'm sorry. It's hard to look at you. Ah, yes. Okay, so I almost forgot about this one. You literally just got to throw sugar, two pieces of wheat, and then you get pasta. But of course, we have to enchant our pasta. I love the Among Us reference, okay? I'm going to go and enchant our donuts because we're going to need that. Oh, and then we got to do this too. I can't believe I almost forgot to do this. If you put bread in a furnace, what do you think you're going to get? No, no, no. It's blurred out. You need to guess it in the comments. That's right. You get toast. Now, and of course, toast can be enchanted as well. Now, I have no idea. I don't know what happens. I'm going to eat the toast. Oh, we didn't even enchant. We forgot. You can enchant cheese. All right. We got a lot of stuff to test out right now. Let's go and start with the toast. What happens if we eat the toast? Uh, I don't know what's happening. Let's... Oh, oh, okay. So the toast breaks the blocks beneath you. So we're definitely going to use toast to find a stronghold. Why didn't we use this when we were trying to find diamonds? And then what does the imposter do? Oh, it turns you into a zombie. And ex except I'm taking damage. <laughs> oh, that's that's actually, that's good. So I think this this is a disguise. So you become a zombie. So if you're near other zombies, you don't, they won't attack you because you're an imposter. I, I like that. That's cute. It's corny, but it's cute. All right, enough is enough. We got to get to the nether. All right, boom. There are a few things that we have to make that are only in the nether. All right, so you're wondering, why did we come to the nether? Take a potato, throw it in the fire, and you get french fries. And of course, we got to enchant these bad boys. Now, I don't know what happens. Oh, you can shoot fireballs. This is sick. Oh, no, no. What have I done? Oh, what have I done? Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. Okay, so... Not my smartest decision. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this because, uh, all right, so listen. String cheese gives you the ability to grapple to things. You see this? We're like Spider-Man, but, but the budget version. All right, it works, you know, it, it's, it's a little glitchy, but we can use this to find another fortress. Look at that, boom. Oh, this is gonna be really bad. If, <laughs> if the string cheese runs out and we're mid-grapple, we're gonna have a bad time. Look at this! Oh, I bet you never seen this before. Look at this. I'm gonna grapple right to that ghast and whack him with an axe. That was actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's, uh, that was a fun time. <laughs> you know, I should probably use those diamonds we got earlier. All right, we gotta get a couple of pieces of wheat. We gotta make some bread. And we're gonna combine the bread. All right, yeah, we, can just, we have a hot dog. But hold on, wait, there's more. Okay, you take the cheese, two pieces of bread, one steak, and you get a hamburger. I love it, man. It's literally like there's so much food. So now we've got a hamburger and an enchanted hot dog, which turned into hot dogs, summons an army of hot dogs to fight alongside. Okay, I'm saving that one for the end. And then the Blam Burger. I'm saving that one too. I bet it's OP as heck. I have a lot of gold and I'm gonna need you all to give me your ender pearls. okay? Don't take the whole bo block. Oh my gosh, I dropped the entire gold block in the pickle and taking the whole thing. You know what? I'm just gonna, there you go. Eventually, I'm gonna get enough ender pearls and we can get out of this place. Okay, we got some blazes, but we don't worry. We got the mistake. So technically, they shouldn't be able to hit us. All right, I'm gonna test that theory. I think it's working. It does work on the blazes. This is fantastic. I really want to eat this Blam Burger and these hot dogs, but I want to save it for the Ender Dragon. Oh, what's that? You, you don't want to see me collect 10 Blaze Rods from Blazes because it takes too long and they need to buff the drop rate? Same. Well, well, what do we have here? Okay, so pretty sure I found the stronghold and we have melons. Why is this so exciting? Because we've not 
like I, there's custom food with the melons and I haven't been able to find it because I didn't realize we were gonna go all the way to a jungle biome. All right, so let me show you this. I didn't get, yes, the melon slicer. All right, so if you pop this bad boy and then you start chopping some trees, you break the entire thing immediately, but it gets better. Put down a slime block, make some more melon jelly, throw the melon slice onto the slime block and then you get melon jelly. So you can enchant the melon jelly. It kind of looks like a nose. It's kind of weird looking. It gets you jump boost five, not the craziest thing. But if you combine the melon jelly, peanut butter, and bread, what do you get? PB and Giants. I do have a surprise, okay? I got the golden carrot to be enchanted. You get the golden eye carrot. You know how like back in the cave it wouldn't enchant? Well, I got it. And I can show you what it does on the ender dragon. Thank God. All right, come with me, buddy. We gotta go kill an ender dragon. All right, I just hope we're close. Yep. Oh! Luck is on my side. All right, get out of here, Silverfish. I got literally no patience for you guys right now. All right, let's take you, baby. Oh, buddy. Oh, thank God. I, okay, I had a couple of Ender Pearls. Just in case this happened, you always got to save some Ender Pearls. This is finally our moment to shine, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. It's time to use the Blam Burger. So I think I know what this does. Oh, I had no idea it did this. Okay. Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> what? The Blam Burger was a little bit too strong, all right? I might stick to the jumping jelly, you know, because I don't want to die. I mean, it's convenient. It's, it's just a very ugly way to do things, but it works. <laughs> all right, come on, last crystal. What are you doing? What are you, okay, really? You gotta be like that? You gotta be like that, Dragon, huh? All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat one of these donuts. The donut touch, pushing all the mobs away. All right, we gotta put this down. I guess I got some angry Endermen, but it doesn't matter. That's all right, I got a better idea anyway. So, all right, so you got a boiled egg from that egg earlier. We can get this, and this is supposed to give us like resistance three. So we should be big chilling right now. All right, we and you also get slow falling, which is kind of fantastic. I just need to get a little bit of damage in on this dragon. Wow, this is crazy. Look at this resistance. I just face take the dragon. All right, come at me, boys. No, you know what? I don't have to deal with you guys. I literally can just eat my donut. Now, I've been waiting to use this one. You remember the hot dog thing we got earlier? I really want to use it now, but I want to wait for the inner dragon to land. Come on. Good, it did nothing. Uh, but we're not done yet, okay? Because you can also enchant cake to get a random potion effect every bite you get. Hold on. Look at this. Look at, oh my god, dude, I have so many effects right now. I don't even know what's happening. You pesky little enderman. Well, I have got time for you guys. I got, I got a big dragon to fry here. Golden eye carrot. This is supposed to make every shot from your bow land. Why are you going that way? You Stop going to this enderman. Oh, it's useless. This is it, boys. This is for all the marbles. Come on, buddy. Don't knock me away. I know you're angry. You know you're gonna die. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop it. Come on. That's right. Hey, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have eaten our way to victory today.